I'm sure many of you have already played or heard of the previous Forza games. They're simulation racers, which is a dream for gearheads and also a dream for more casual racing fans like myself because the controls are just so accessible. Forza Horizon is a fast-paced racing game that has steered itself into a different direction. It adds some new gameplay elements, but it does also still manage to keep that Forza feeling that we all know and love. Believe it or not, there is a story in Forza Horizon. You play as a no-name racer who's trying to work his way up to the top of this Horizon Festival, which is held in Colorado. Your main goal is to become number one and beat all of the rivals that get in your way. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I actually think the story works well, and it's definitely something new added to the series. This is an open world arcade racer and it has similarities to other games like Test Drive Unlimited and Burnout Paradise and there's even a tad bit of the Dirt series mixed up in there as well. You'll find yourself driving around the state of Colorado stopping as you wish to enter into events. The controls are a lot more accessible and forgiving than any of the other games in the series and that has a lot to do with the point system. You're trying to be the most popular driver in the festival so in order to do that you need to to, you know raise your rank in the popularity chart so you have to actually show off a little bit while you're driving you can do all of this by drifting doing burnouts drafting driving close to other cars driving in traffic going really fast and even wrecking I know that was frowned upon in previous Forza games but in Forza Horizon if you wreck signs that's cool because you gain points for the it. The more you show off on the open road and in races, the more popular you become. With all of that being said, you still have to use the brakes every now and again in order to be successful in some of these races, but for the most part, it's all about putting the pedal to the metal. Each car controls differently and gives off an amazing sense of speed. And there's a nice variety of races in the game. There's standard lap races, you have progression races, and there's races where you even have to go head to head with the plane. Yes. A plane it's crazy with confidence I can say that Forza Horizon is the best looking game that I've played this year so far the game totally pushes the Xbox 360 to its limit the car models look great and when those cars get damaged it looks even more impressive and Colorado is amazing I mean the game is broken up into different areas so you have a residential area you have like the mountains canyons you have the city the countryside and each specific area area has its own flavor it just looks great as usual the lighting is stunning I mean sometimes you'll drive around and you'll see the sunlight just reflect off of other cars or that sunlight will reflect onto the road and you'll see shadows of like some of the bigger trees in the environment uh, sometimes you'll see the sunlight peeking through the trees it's just jaw-dropping I even noticed a few times when I was driving and there's a car in front of me that car would drive through a pile of leaves and the the leaves would fly up and land onto my windshield. Little details like that just totally make this game a graphical masterpiece. Plus the music totally adds to the experience of the game. There's three radio stations that you'll be able to listen to and you have a hearty dose of dubstep in there. You got some black keys and some other indie bands as well. It's just really good stuff. There's a lot to do in this game. The story mode is pretty lengthy and there's even more to do after that. You can try to gain enough skills so you can be the most popular driver in Horizon. You can can complete PR missions and stunts that are available throughout the 10 different posts that are in Colorado. You can smash into signs to earn discounts on upgrades. You can even find hidden barns that, that actually house classic cars. And then there's the whole social aspect of the game. There's a few things that you can do to interact with your friends on Xbox Live. There's some speed cameras throughout the world so you can drive by those speed cameras as fast as you can and try to compete with some of the people that are on your friends list that have played the game. You can also rival against um, friends and other random people in order to beat their times in certain races. And on top of all of that, there's multiplayer. And unfortunately, I haven't spent a lot of time with the multiplayer because the last time I did, the experience wasn't that great. Some of the cars were flying in the air and it was really laggy, um, but it does have some potential. There are 
standard races you have some progression races there's cat and mouse um, there's a few things that you can do there and there's also something that's very similar to um, the multiplayer that was in burnout paradise you can go around in a group and complete different missions so that's pretty cool I'm definitely going to check that out um, really soon and see if anything has changed with that so at the end of the day Forza Horizon is a racing game you should definitely check out besides it being technically impressive it's a blast to play I'm glad turn 10 decided to take a chance and try something different than what they're used to doing and I'm not sure if all Forza games will be like this from here on out but I honestly wouldn't mind if they were I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video and I'll check you next time.